child away, like locked away in a little uh, hut. He's not allowed to interact with anyone except his mother, who can't get too attached to him because when he's a certain age, um, he's brought out of the hut and sacrificed uh, with a wooden stake and a metal sword. And his body is then charred, wrapped in furs, and carried around from one uh, tribe site, like village that they set up, because it's a nomadic tribe, it's carried from one village to the other, and is worshipped as a god and as a symbol of, of, of luck and fertility and all that, and eventually evolves into what is known as the Cobalt, and coming down eventually travels over to America in the minds of a Germanic immigrant, and here's Hinselman. And he helps found the town of Lakeside and loves this town so much that he is willing to sacrifice one child per year for the sake of its prosperity. Okay, we're all on the same page? Great. Hinselman, uh, in Germanic folklore not really a god but yes a cobalt and what a cobalt was was kind of like a a sprite a little spirit sort of thing um i think you could probably liken it um more towards the Irish idea of a leprechaun, where leprechauns are supposed to be kind of lucky, but if you piss them off enough, they're going to make your life hell. So, cobalts were little household spirits, supposedly, that uh, would help with, you know, household chores, would bring about good luck and, and all that, but again, if you pissed them off enough... Uh, they would make your life a living hell. Uh, apparently, even after Christianization made it to Germany, uh, people would make effigies of cobalt, cobalts, like little, made them like sticks and put them in, you know, jackets and trousers and draw laughing faces on them and put them in a room and that was supposed to bring their home or their house good luck so <laughs> we have Hinselman, Mr. Hinselman a cobalt who is there to bring good luck to the home that is Lakeside hmm, interesting Anyways, so Hinselman actually is a, in German folklore, is the name is Hinselman? Hinselman? I think it's spelled only slightly differently than it is in the book, and I don't really know how it's spelled, I just know how it's pronounced. Um, Hinselman is an actual little sprite that uh, was supposedly ejected from the Bohemian Forest and went to go inhabit this castle. So legend has, I forget what the castle is called, I wasn't paying that much attention, I'm really sorry, go read the damn Wikipedia article. <laughs> if you really want the information, it's out there. Um, anyway, so he was, he was, he went and inhabited this castle, and so... Here's what I found really interesting is, apparently, generally, the form he would take was that of a small child. Well, one day, a maid, or someone within this castle, asked Hinselman what he really looked like. What is your true form? And he took the form of a child, stabbed and bloodied by two swords. Huh. Okay. So you can see how that would have evolved into the story that Neil Gaiman tells for Hinselman in American Gods. And actually, uh, Shadow Dreams, Hinselman's backstory, the first night he's in Lakeside. So, that's, that, that like, blew my mind once, once it was revealed what Hinselman was. I was like, whoa, wait, what? And then when I went and read back, I was like, oh my gosh, Shadow dreamed it! That's 
Tinselman, he's Hinselman. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know, so dreams are always very uh, important in literature. If you haven't figured that out yet, it's always very important to pay attention. If there's a dream sequence that happens in a book, it's always very important to pay attention to it because there's something important about it. It's not just like something random and crazy. It's, it contributes to the story, generally speaking. It's it's a dream with a capital D. So, yes! So that's Hinselman. Um, the article went on to say that cobalts, such as Hinselman, are also probably the inspiration for later or eventually later evolved into things like goblins, hobgoblins, and brownies, and etc., etc., etc. So there you are. The Germanic thingy things in American Gods. So, that's all I have to say about that. If you would like to follow me on social media, the username to look for is purplebecca923. That's P-U-R-P-L-E-B-E-C-C-A 923. That is my username on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. And with regards to the latter three, I always follow back. Always. Unless and until you send me something inappropriate, in which case blocked and reported, depending on how, uh, oh, low battery, depending on how inappropriate. So if you would like to email me, my email address is purplebubblespace, all one word, all spelled out, at gmail.com. My website is purplebubblespace.simdiff.com. I'm working on, uh, getting that, an actual domain name, so I don't have to say that. (laughs) repeatedly every single every single show and also so it's easier for you to find um but that is what it is right now it's what i can afford right now that's how it is so until next time remember education is fresh learning can be fun so go out there create what you deserve and fly with the penguins i'll talk to you next time Toodaloo-daloo!